I made a promise to myself. One day, whether that's one or ten years from now, one day, I'll stand on that stage, and I'll be the best Pokemon player in the world. That was my childhood dream, and I've got a long way to go, so come along with me as we travel the road to worlds. Hello there everyone, and my name is Waffles the Asian Yen Bear, and this is Road to Worlds, the series where I take on a team that I have built myself or that I borrowed, go on to the VGC ladder, get some battles in, try to learn some things, and also some stuff, and this is Artemis the Cat. We're both on screen today. Uh, she was piloting the team on Monday. Anyway, I see Regilecki, I see uh, Articuno, I see Obama Snow. Okay, it's basically, it's the Snow team with Regilecki. Okay. I actually don't care. Um, we're just gonna go for Trick Room. I am gonna bring out Ampharos. Um, he doesn't have the gosh darn Zoroark, so they're not gonna do the explosion shenanigans. And Regilecki kind of doesn't matter to me. Um, I am gonna bring Dr. Goom, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna bring Clomp Clomp. I feel like Clomp Clomp will be fine here. What do you think, girl? She says she's tired. And you know what? That's fair. You know, it's been a long week. I record these on Saturday. You know, it's time to get some rest. So, okay. Who are we facing? I actually didn't pay attention. S239. Alright, so you got the bright powder guy. That's fine. I have discharge. Um, I am gonna go straight up for Trick Room Cotton Guard, though. I mean, I could go Trick Room... Um, Actually, yeah, no, I'm gonna go Trick Room Protect. Because I don't want to get hit with a Blizzard too quickly here. And if I go for the Trick Room, then I can get the Cotton Guard up first. Uh, and the Light Screen up. So I think that would be the best play overall. Yeah, Hatterene takes it. Oh, come on. Really? Really? <laughs> That's what we're doing. Okay. Okay. It's fine. We're gonna thaw out here. Yes, we are gonna thaw out here. That is the belief in three question marks in a trench coat or a suit. I think I'd call it a suit. Okay. Anyway, yeah, now we're going for the light screen. Uh, you can have your Aurora Veil up. That's fine. I am okay with going for the Cotton Guard now. Um, I could discharge. It's possible, but with the light screen up, I actually feel pretty comfortable with one Cotton Guard, I think. Especially because the Bomb of Snow is probably physical. It could be either or. But we'll see. Oh, Obama Snow's... Okay, special. That's fine. I'm glad I got the screens up. Okay. Now it's time. So, I can go for Discharge now. Um, I don't want to switch anything in. I am going to go for Heal Pulse on Ampharos as well. Um, Hatterene dies this turn. And yeah, Gudra will be great once I bring her in. Discharge should hit... Gosh darn Articuno after I've heal pulsed. There we go. Alright, Amphi. All the way back. And here's the discharge hitting both of them. Critical hit on the Hatterene. That was not the place I wanted to get a critical hit on, but that is okay. Are we gonna get a paralysis? No, we're not gonna get a paralysis, and I don't know why I'm talking in 1960s radio voice. Anyway. Yeah, we get hit with the double blizzard. And it's single target, so it does more damage, but that's okay. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Um, yeah, I think I just bring in the Gudra. Maybe we set up the acid armor now. What, Dr. Goom throws for acid armor. This guy just wants to spam freaking blizzards, which I, I'm kind of fine with. Um, I could also go for life do if I really wanted to, but I think I'm okay to just Acid Armor Protect. I lose Trick Room turns, and that's fine. Okay, Obama's now switching out to... What is this? The Great Friend. Urshifu. Oh. That's a bit of a problem. But it's probably Urshifu Rapid Strike, and I should have one more turn of Trick Room. If I've been keeping count in my head, which... You know, mental math is... Mental math. Gudra takes, like, nothing from this. Yeah, look at that. That was like, what, one damage? That was one damage? I don't know. Okay. Now I think it's time. Um, 
Yeah, I think we straight up just go for body press. Although, let me just double check. Yeah, it is the water one. Okay. Yeah, body press, discharge. Um, does that do enough? I'm gonna be a little risky here. I think it's maybe not the best play, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna go for the Terra Ground. I don't want my Dr. Goom to be affected by this. You know, Dr. Goom has trained as a surgeon for a long time. The issue here is that if my opponent survives with the Articuno, which I hope they do not, because this charge should do quite a bit, plus the gosh darn uh, body thingy. Okay, that's cool. Uh, then Blizzard could hurt quite a bit. Okay, it survived, and because of the paralysis, actually it didn't hurt that much. That's actually okay. Body press did like nothing. Oh my god. Why did body press do so little? What? How bulky are you? I haven't actually seen Articuno spreads. Oh, that's why. Okay, Aurora Veil. All right, um, so Twisted Dimensions have returned to normal. That's not great, actually. Um, here's the problem. Okay, Urshifu exists. That's, that's the problem. Um, Body Press and gosh darn Discharge, please. One of those will hopefully survive. Aqua Jet, ouch. Gudra, you can do this. I believe in you. You got your Guave Berry. You know, we had... We had our smoothie today. It's fine. Body press. Does enough. Okay. Cool. Now, Articuno is faster than me a little bit. Roost. That's cool. They're going to set up the Aurora Veil again, probably, which actually is a little okay. Not a lot okay, but a little okay. Because we got rid of the main threat, which was the Urshifu. And now that Gudra is faster than this... What? I, what if I body press into the gosh darn uh, Obama stuff? That's what it's called. Grass boy. Um, what? I body press into it. Gonna do a lot. I could also life do, but realistically, this guy wants to set up a Aurora Veil vale again. I mean, if I'm him, that's all I'm thinking about right now. You know, Aurora Veil. Vale, I come home from work. I think about Aurora Veil. Vale. I'm making love to my wife. I think about Aurora Veil. I have a nice dinner on the TV. Why is that faster? I still think about Aurora Veil. He didn't, he went for Aurora Veil. He did not, he did not go for it. I really thought he would. Anyway, body press. Okay, here's the question. Ouch. That wasn't a question. Okay. How do I want to handle the next part? I've got Clomp Clomp. Assault vest should take quite a bit. Okay. Clomp Clomp. If I assume he's faster than me. I need to get rid of that Obama Snow before it sets up again. But the problem is... If I'm assuming he's faster... Wait a minute. Does he have another Pokemon in the back? Oh my god, he does. I totally forgot. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is a problem. Alright, we're gonna body press that Obama Snow right the fuck now. Uh, energy ball, please survive. Yes, you do, because you got the assault vest, Roost. That's cool. It's faster than me. That's good to know. Uh, so when it roosts, if I can hit it with a body press, that'll be great. That Obama Snow is alive. Hmm. Don't like that. I am gonna go for the icicle crash. Oh, this is difficult. High school crash should do enough. But my concern is what is in the back? Water? Okay. Terra water. Um Is that that big of a deal? Not necessarily. If I can Oh, if I can take out the Obama Snow, I can then have the plus 1. If I can survive Articuno, can assault vest. Yeah, we're fine there. And depending on what the last Pokemon is in the back, I think that's the play. Okay. Because now I get my plus one boost from Chilling Nay. Nice. Alright, what's the last Pokemon?
The formerly buff. I don't know what that means. Dragonite. Oh. Okay, this might be a problem. Um, I still crash definitely kills if I can get that through. But it really depends on if I survive this, which I do not. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You know what? We didn't win this one. But we won the last one. And guess what? I'm calling it right now. We're going to win the third one. Because I believe in the power of Ampharos. We didn't push Ampharos to the limit this time. But we're going to next time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. My name is Waffles the Asian Yenber. Again, this is Artemis. She's very cute. You should comment on how cute she is down in the comments below. Now, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. This is uh, Tangled Up, by the way.